Well, here we are again. Hello there. Another update from Corfu. What can I tell you? So far we've had tourists coming here for about three weeks. And already we've got several cases of virus in Corfu. But luckily the Greeks have got it organised. Every island in Greece has a Covid hotel. They have one hotel that's designated by the government for any Covid cases and people are whipped up there straight away to serve their sentence 14 days. <laughs> uh, really the only thing that's going on at the moment is empty beaches, empty bars, everywhere's empty although flights are just starting to come in. The main thing I think to realise is that if you're going to supermarkets you must wear a mask, it's mandatory. 150 euro fine if you don't wear a mask. Also they're talking about making mandatory wearing of masks in all public places. Totally agree with it. So anyway have a look at the video. That will show you how we are at the moment. No screaming kids, peace and quiet, it's lovely. I shouldn't say that should I? <laughs> that's, that's an old fart being honest. <laughs> anyway, have a look, see what it's like. Uh, come over, there is testing at the airport. Uh, if you go on the ferries to the mainland or from the mainland to the islands, you have to fill out a questionnaire with contact details and things like that. And it's also mandatory to wear a mask on the ferries. So I will say, I, did, I went to the mainland a couple of weeks ago, everyone had to wear the mask. But as soon as the ferry left port, they all pulled the mask off there and down under their chins. Idiots! I was the only person on the boat wearing gloves and masks all throughout the whole trip. But at least I got here safe. <laughs> it's a laugh, isn't it? Anyway, guys, have a look at the video, see what you think about coming. Personally, I'd leave it this year and come next year. Have a bumper year next year. That's what I would do anyway. Enjoy the vid. See you again. Bye. Well, there we are in Rhoda. Empty. My favourite bar, Oscars. I think we'll have a chat with Vangeli if he's there and see what he thinks about this virus nonsense. Well, everyone knows Vangeli's in Oscars. Hello. He has uh, friends with more women tourists than any man I know. <laughs> <laughs> Vangeli, my friend. Uh, what do you think uh, about the English coming here now after Corfu has been so safe with the virus? Uh, we wait. Now we see it. Now every day coming more people, but uh, it's okay. Here is everything good. Are you pleased to see the English coming knowing how bad the virus is in England? Bah, it's okay. No problem. It's down. It's down. Uh, so you hope to be busier next year? I hope, I hope, I hope, <laughs> because this year everything is down. That's okay. Um, are you still doing your Friday fish and chips? Yes, every Friday fish and chips. And the, all the menu is the same. The same last year. And the prices the same? Exactly the same and maybe more down. Oh, there you go, people. Maybe cheaper prices this year, summer. Mind you, they'll go back up again next year. <laughs> okay, Van Gaal, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're in Roda, and this is Roda Beach, as you can see. Heaving with people, I don't think. Tourist, he's enjoying himself. Who's a beautiful boy then? Bear in mind, this is peak season almost, middle of July.
course, the people that are here at the moment are from the Eastern Bloc countries and no disrespect, but they're very short of funds. So they don't want to rent some beds. We have three cases of coronavirus so far in Corfu, brought in by Eastern Bloc country people. They're in the Covid hotel. And this is the high street in Rhoda. This would normally be packed this time of the day, this time of the year. This is Roxanne's again, a very busy place normally. This is Brassier's shop. Get all your goods here you can for the beach. You're on holiday, you two? Oh yes, yes. yes. Oh, and what name are you? Enjoying it, Vernon and Jill. Hello Vernon and Jill. Is that a good breakfast? Very good breakfast. Beautiful. And we're in Moxans, aren't we? Moxans, yes. It's nice to see somebody over here. Tell the people <laughs> to come. It's, uh, well, it's a good here. time to come, yeah. Yes. Absolutely a good time to come. Yeah. Enjoy your breakfast there. Thank you. Thank you. Where, by the way, where, where are you from in the UK? South Yorkshire. Near Sheffield. There you go, not all South Yorkshire's are tight. <laughs> Look at that there, English breakfast, go oh, blimey. Yeah. This is a side street opposite the Dolphin Bar. And up there is Sandy's Bar. I'm going to have a walk up, see if she's open. And this is Sandy's Arms. Lady's been here a little while. Very successful bar, English mainly. Opens every day at midday. That's when the drinkers come out, I expect. Anyone who's on the beach is gasping. Temperature's about 30 degrees at the moment. It's going to go up. In the back road, this is Lena's leather shop and also sells ceramics. It's quite sizable and quite good prices. This is a dolphin restaurant. They sell mainly fish meals. Very nice, very good. All these places on the beach road and the high street have some beds at the back. I'm going to walk through and show you. Sukaki? Sukaki called? He has to. <laughs> Tourist shop, lots of bargains. Prices are down, I think, this year. It's Pirates Bar, that's been revamped. English bar mainly. A bit expensive for me, so I don't go in there. I like to watch my pennies. Taverna with a roof garden. They do a very nice drop of red wine in here, a very good price and with a bloody good measure. Duck! <laughs> Thank you! You can sit outside and they've got excellent sunbeds right on the beach close to the sea. As you can see, Rhoda is heaving. So many people. This is the Newport restaurant, Taverna. Usually very busy, good food, fair price. Eat out on the beach. At the end of the village is the Harbour Bar. Haven't been in there. Too many people. It's hard fighting my way through these crowds. Well, we've come to the end of the high street and if you follow the road round, walking towards Akaravi, you'll come to this little patch. There's a couple of bars here. Nice views. Let's see. And if you carry on along here and take the first turning on the right, You'll see the Mediterranean shop. It's probably the last English shop in, Akira, in uh, Corfu, actually. 
all those little things you fancy when you're on holiday and you can't buy because it's all foreign, you can get in the Mediterranean shop, run by English people. Now you can see, walking along here, the road goes right the way through to Akaravi. It's a very pleasant walk. And this is the first turning on the right by the 40 sign. And there's a sign saying Mediterranean shop. Turn right here. And, you're and round the corner we go. And... There's a shop up there. So this is your corner market. And if you fancy these nice tidbits from the UK, this is the place to come. You can also have a drink and sit outside as well. You must expect to pay a few pennies more than you would in England for the same goods because uh, to import here is very expensive and transport. But it's worth it corner you've actually got Nina's hotel on the beach it's got a nice beach uh, frontage and a pool bar so you can see the pool in the background and if you come and have a drink here you can use the sunbeds and the pool for free they open next week and it's a uh, very moderately priced not expensive well worth it nice pool clean So I'm in Sidari now, haven't been up here for ages, let's see how big Well this is almost peak season and you can see Sidari is busy, closed, that one's always packed, couple of, tour couple of tourists over there. This time of the year, this is heaving, and I mean heaving. This is the harbour. The rental boats are all sitting here unused. I really feel for these people, these business people. Philippos Travel, very good place. Philippos. That one's open, but no lights on because they're saving electric. This one's open. Car park empty. Empty. Not one sunbed taken. I'm not going to walk any further. I see no point. Well, I'm in Akaravi now. Nine o'clock in the morning. Quite busy. But it's a small town, not a village. Most of the vehicles that are, you can see parked are from locals, not tourists. It's Saturday morning, so they all come shopping. This makes it quite busy, which is why I'm filming early. Just like winter. Akaravi Beach. Usually jam packed with sunbeds. Oh, and here we've got the Nevada restaurant. Always good food in there and a nice drink, fair price. Right on the beach. Empty. Anyway.
This is Nareda inside. It'll be busy later. Yeah. With locals as well, because many locals eat here. Okay. I get 10 points, because I just spotted two tourists. All from Eastern Bloc countries, of course. Cheers.